I just want to mention that I have started a GoFundMe to help support um, my needs to grow my channel. Um, I'm not impatient. I just want to give better quality and I, I would like to get rid of this background. Um, I would like to get a get better camera so I could zoom in a little bit more. I'm dedicating a whole year to my YouTube channel and I'm really excited for it. So it would be awesome if I got support and if I don't, I appreciate all of you that like, subscribe, share, um, and leave comments on my page. It's really motivating and it inspires me to just keep going. So that's it. Um, so yeah, let's get into this. The full face get ready with me of some of my favorite products. Um, I was just inspired from like a stay-at-home mom vibe and also this color right here which is Chili Chill from Colourpop. It's one of my favorite nudes because it's like just enough mauve but it's just enough brown that I feel like it's like mimicking my lip color. Um, if this came in a gloss, I'd buy five and I never buy backups because I'm like who cares but today was a mask day and I just wanted to give my skin some extra TLC. If you know what I mean. Oh yeah. Yes, yes. Oh, I love looking like I just look like a strawberry. I juice a strawberry today. I'm very inspired by a hot Cheeto. I've got this velvet on, I've got red hair, red patches. My kundalini is open. This is how much. I don't think you guys even see. How tiny, 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 tiny that is. Yeah, that's how much. And my eyeshadow usually stays when I do this. I apologize that I can't, you know, pinch in or zoom in. Great. <laughs> We're gonna get through this together. 30 minutes, guys. Um, That I can't zoom in for you, but I'm just applying this all over my eye. So how's everybody, everyone's New Year's going? Um. I feel like April is literally here. And I'm excited for spring. I'm excited for new projects. Use Urban Decay Potion, eyeshadow potion, primer potion. This is a sample I've got for a while. I have another one, I just can't find it, but I use this when I really want my eyeshadow to stay. My favorite eyeshadow palette that we're using, you guys know I don't wear eyeshadow like that, but I love, love, love the Modern Renaissance palette. It is, to me, a, a beginner favorite, a beginner, a good beginner palette, period. And I feel like this is um, deep and darker and deep dark, like Kim K says, um, whatever. The way that it applies on your lid, it transfers literally from pan to eye so well. I love that they never stopped making this because you know what I just discovered when I was doing my highlight palette uh, collection, the last video? They don't make this one anymore. Do um, no blush look today. And before that, uh, before I apply like setting powders in my face, I want to apply um, a highlight and see if it comes out better that way. I don't want my beauty blend to get dry. So, does anybody have any special goals they're working on? Um, mine is just a YouTube channel. I do want to lose weight. I want to find love. I want love to find me. I'd like to spend more time with my family. But that's always hard when you're growing up. I really want to learn what it is to be my own boss. I am so shiny right here. Shine bright like a diamond. That's the hardest part of um, like where you want to be and where you are. That, that whole thing is like, enjoy the journey. Enjoy the journey. I'm doing my best. If we put antique bronze, so I was using raw sienna and a raw sienna. Can't even see that. That's raw sienna, and then this one is burnt orange. Then I'm gonna go in with a flat um, shade of bronze. This is actually pretty thick, and get antique bronze. Antique bronze, which is 
It's got a little kickback, but it doesn't bother me the way that it bothered everybody else in subculture. I thought that was really ridiculous. Ooh, this is so pretty. This is so pretty. Why have I never used this eyeshadow before? To grow them out, because I want feathery brows for the spring, summer. I don't want perfectly constructed brows anymore. I want them flicked up. I want my brows to always have character of their own. I want my brows to speak for me as well. So, what I did was, I used a little bit of this Mary Kay brow gel, and I just flicked them up. I'm gonna wait for them to dry, and uh, let's prep our skin for foundation. I'm done with eyeshadow for now. I usually like to go, once I lay on like one or two colors, I blend till I can't blend anymore, and then if I like it, I don't. I just keep going. Oily girl, so I literally use the tiniest bit, and I wanna just put it in the areas where I know I'm going to crease, which is this area right here. I'm not crease, but I, well, I know I have big pores, and what I would like to, I guess, sort of hide. Um, I, what I love about this um, primer is that it almost feels like Elmer's glue. I love that. Because it makes putting foundation it's like a dream. I love the way my skin looks when I use this, this primer. It does what I need it to do. Which is to make me look like a bad bitch. Just kidding. What does a bad bitch mean anymore? Do girls still want to be bad bitches? I think about that sometimes. I'm like, you know, do we have to be good? Do we have to be bad? Do we have to be crazy? Do we have to be all these things? What do we have to be all these things for? Ourselves, I hope. And glowy. All right, so this foundation is definitely my summer foundation. I love it so much. I love the way it dries. I love the way, um, let's see. I don't know, it's it's a nice color. I can play with it, I can build with this. I'm a huge fan of Estee Lover Double Wear because of um, one of my favorite YouTubers, Beauty by Rosita, or I think it's Rosita Bomb. Or I've been watching her since she was Rosita Apple Bomb, but um, she's one of my favorite YouTubers. She takes really good care of her skin. She cares about her brushes. She's just very meticulous and I like that. Um, and she don't care, she'll spend her money so she can try stuff because I feel like she wants to be very informative. Very underrated foundation. I wish everyone would try because um, I like the fact that they put ingredients in there that will work um, in combination with you, whatever product you're using on your skin. Like they put skincare ingredients in it. I think that's important foundation. You know, you, you gotta wear that all over your face. I love that I can still blend. Oh, this is such a great foundation. I hope I've convinced you guys to go buy it. Maybelline, uh, age, instant age rewind. So this has, it's a treatment, has goji berry and halaxo. I have no idea what halaxo does. I should probably do my research. Um, this caramel color does oxidize just a little bit. I don't mind it, but I feel like the under eye brightness gang is our trend is coming back. Which I think is funny. I'm happy for Kim, but it's funny she's bringing back, you know, her signature thing with Mario. And um, I feel like that's going to be popular. So I wanted to try it on my channel. I'm probably my fourth time trying it. It does dry very quickly, so and let me shut the fuck up. And, uh, ooh, let me put it in there. Um, I don't mind that it dries quickly. Um, this concealer makes me cognizant of the time I put into applying concealer and how much. Because I feel like us in the beauty community, we go ham and it's like, where the fuck are you going that you need to have like ham sandwich makeup? Caramel and the color golden. Um, this is golden and the first one I was using was caramel. They do kind of look similar, but this is definitely more tan, which I like. But caramel, 
it's basically like my skin tone without um, foundation on. So what I like to do is just take a little bit of this, just take it one, two clicks, and right here. And then I'll go in, I know it's gonna dry quick, but I like to go in with a little bit of the NARS Amand creamy soft matte cream you can see there oh, it's one of the, my favorite concealers you know it's funny when i first got it somebody was like they test on animals and i was like please don't tell me that please tell me i have to i don't have to boycott them and then went into my research they test on animals and it made me sad but it was just like am i gonna go back and return this and now I look awake. You see the difference in my eye? Now I look more awake. I love this. This is my new favorite technique. Yesterday I went to brunch with my friend Adam. And I told him, I was like, man, I don't drink no more. And we were supposed to hang out Friday, but then I was like, let's go to brunch. First of all, I don't drink anymore because... I just, I'm a wild card. I, I fucking messaged somebody, a brand new guy. And then I, when I was reading the text message, I hate when I get like itchy right here because now you have to like, because you can't scratch it. <laughs> um, Yeah, I messaged this new guy. And I was showing my friend Breezy, and she was like, wow, you were wilding yesterday. I was like, what did I drink? I was like, damn, I had vodka, and I don't like vodka. She's like, yeah, when you drink Hennessy, you're different. Hennessy makes me really horny. So I don't like drinking it. This is definitely not a powder you bake with at all. Um, an angled brush like this, and just tapping off the excess. And when I tap it off, I keep my brush um, just like that, like forward up. And I have been enjoying just going into where like my tragus is and just applying. Look at that little bit. My cheekbones are here to stay. They mean business. They mean business. Everything looks um, complete. The base is looking great. I'm gonna move on to a little bit of this uh, tardiest tart lash paint. with my scratchy brow, scratchy brow, scratchy uh, um, brush. Make sure that nothing got lost in powder and then just take whatever's there and connect these two. And on my face, I'm not gonna use the It Cosmetics. I'm gonna go back in with my Derma Blend Loose Setting Powder. I love this stuff. I don't even have a real reason as to why I like it, to be honest with you. Like, I wish I had a reason. And I, I don't have, like, a s distinct reason. I can't be like, I like it because it does this. I don't know. I don't have much expectations out of setting powders because, um, how special can setting powders get? pack this into my face because I want everything to be dry at this point and my, my, at this point my foundation has completely set and settled in um, let me bring you guys in closer 
So this is what I'm looking like. The eyeshadow looks really blended, looking really pretty. Sorry for my mess in the background. Um, you still have skin peeking through, but this is what my skin looks like. This is my forehead. From close, it looks good. And from, I mean, from far, it looks good. And from close, it looks even better. I'm going to use golden bronze, which is this color right here. And I like to just swirl my entire um, blush brush. I like when I wear um, highlight at the highest point of my cheeks. And it gives you a sheen versus a highlight. Because I want it to look like skin always I'm just tapping that onto my face now and Razy taught me this what I really love about this um, pat palette is that it doesn't emphasize any of my texture as much as I exfoliate as much as I take care of my skin um, me and texture just got a thing going on and I have accepted it And then if I'm not getting the highlighted look I want, I always go in with a fan brush. I think I'm gonna just dip into bubbly. Not even that much since bubbly. Tap off once. Um, and then now I create that bronzy, golden, orangey look on my cheek that looks like I pretty much got a fake implant in my cheek. Cause now I'm, now I'm getting my cheekbones dimension again and I'm just emphasizing on what is already there oh my gosh I love this makeup look I'm so picky and I'm such a perfectionist that sometimes it's hard for me to tell you I like my own work I'm an artist and I'm sensitive about my shit I wonder sometimes will I ever need Botox not that I'm wishing it on myself but I look at my skin and I'm like you look great I make a lot of expressions <laughs> so if i ever did get botox i feel like it'd be right here because i'm always like like i like i i have resting bitching face and i always look mad but i'm not ever mad i'm just like oh, head in the clouds i daydream a lot a little bit close i love how luscious my lips look This is so creamy. I don't know how it got creamy. Um, I'm loving it because it was always super liquidy. Practice makes perfect. No, practice actually makes consistency. This is the final look. I feel like such a stay at home mom, stay at home, home wife. I've got my little robe on. I've got a little bodysuit. I could go grocery shopping right now or I could go do laundry. I could do a couple things. This is the final look. Um, I hope you guys enjoyed um, this look. I enjoyed creating it for you guys. Enjoyed talking to you guys and being my weird self because at the end of the day you just got to be you usually i would cut my cheeks a little bit more by putting a little bit of setting powder that's uh, probably yellow but i'm liking this subtle look i love that i used the bronze a golden bronze as a blush topper versus having blush i love how everything just molds together and this is my final look do i want to do gel manicures or do I want to do acrylic or just keep it natural? I don't have the time or patience for um, regular manicures anymore. So I've got to decide between one or the other. And I am very excited to have a new nail look. Sometimes I wish I had like a nail sugar daddy. 
Like somebody who would just give me money just to get my nails done. It's nice to see that they're caring about the brown skin community out there. It's really nice. It's really fucking nice. So now I've got the peachiness. I look awake. I look fresh. I'm ready to steal your man.